Beyond all the excitement on the field, the fans wildly cheering in the stands, the band playing their fight songs, there's a voice that brings all the action and pandemonium to culmination. Whether it's Lyle Bremser's call of a Johnny Rogers punt return in the game of the century. Only man, woman, and child did that. Put him in the aisles. Johnny the Jet Rogers just tore him loose from their shoes. Or Joe Starkey's disbelief during the play. All the band is out on the field. He's going to go into the end zone. He's going to go into the end zone. The Bears have won. The Bears have won. For the third ranked football team in the country, the story is no different. Heaps out of the gun. With time, now the pocket breaks down. The Ponga gets him. Stanley grabs him back at the three-yard line. Brian Estridge, the voice of the Horn Frogs, has been in radio since he was 14. Now his broadcasts heard throughout Texas all but rival the enthusiasm of the team he's calling. Uh, when I was a little kid, instead of you know playing basketball in the yard, which I did a lot of, um, or football in the yard, what I would do is watch a game on television, turn the sound down, and try to emulate the play-by-play -play guy. That's what I always wanted to do. Dalton over the middle is tipped in the air and it's caught by Wesley inside the 30 and Wesley down to the 20 to the 15 and down to the 10 yard line. Uh, but it's more than just quarterbacks. I mean there have been other guys that have made impacts over the years. I, I love watching Gary Patterson's defense fly around. Ian Colin Jones and they get it from the inside at the 30 yard line. Guess who? Looking, looking, pressure. Sacked from behind. Guess who? Jerry Hughes sacks Max Hall. Not even laryngitis could keep Estridge away from the mic for the 2009 game against Utah, arguably one of the biggest in the school's history. Dr. Sam Haroldson, the team doctor, had given me this home elixir of cayenne pepper and honey and, and hot water and lemon juice and vitamin C that I was just drinking all day for about four or five days. It got me through the game. Uh, it, wasn't my, it wasn't my best, but it got me through the game. Just because the fields and the courts may not change, don't expect the calls to stay one-dimensional. I, I want every play to be what it is, you know what I mean? And I think that's my job. There are no two football plays that are exactly alike. Look at the 29-yard line of the Frogs, returning down the sideline, 40, 45, midfield, 45, wow! What a lick! On his feet down the sideline, makes another tackle, out of another one he goes! Team to the 10, to the 5, touchdown! Touchdown, TCU! hit the horn would be, a, a, you know, and obviously when TCU scores, I want to hear that frog horn. Hit the horn for Clark Johnson. Hit the horn early. Touchdown, TCU. Hit that horn. Touchdown. Hit the horn. Let's go. Frogs on the board. Sometimes I have to step back and sort of pinch myself. You know, I got here in 98, and you think about what has happened from 98 to today. It's been a terrific run, and so I, I think for that reason, I'm very appreciative and very thankful. Paul Hall's going to run the option. It's Picks those wild plays the on the biggest of stages that keep Estridge doing what he loves. Inside the 10, down to the 5, Wayman will score. you got to be kidding me. It's that kind of day for TCU. Thomas Koenig, TCU News Now.